junior, number 35, Chris Hamilton. Hello and welcome to the Belmont High Hockey Game. This is David Palmer here with Bob Stonehouse. Filling in again for Matt Rowan, who is out on uh, vacation this week. Uh, we have introductions going on right now for both teams. And in goal, a senior, number 40, Greg Federico. So, Belmont. Ice officials for tonight's game are Harry C. and Tom Griffin. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise honor America. Oh, say, can you see? Excellent rendition of the National Anthem by Al Gledhill, Belmont's own scorekeeper and National Anthem singer. Big game tonight between Belmont Marauders and the Reading Rockets. Uh, Reading comes in at the top of the league. 6-0-0 uh, record, 26 goals for, 5 goals against. Belmont right behind them in the Middlesex League. 32 goals for, 10 goals against with a 6-1-1 one one record. Uh, that loss to Catholic Memorial and a tie to Watertown. Uh, Reading is ranked second in the Boston Globe's top 20, uh, only behind Catholic Memorial, and this is as of about a week ago. Belmont uh, was showing at uh, seventh position in the uh, thing. So, should be a very, very uh, big battle between both teams. Both have very strong first lines here with uh, we've got Granara, Panucci, and Fahey from uh, from Reading and Belmont with the uh, line of Ken Fici, Shea Donahue, and Adam Bauer. Belmont dumps the puck in and a big hit by Bauer. they able to keep it in deep. Adam Bauer controls the puck around the corner, controls it again. Controlling the puck over to Shea Donahue. Shea in the corner. Shea back to the point, and it slips past Joe Gaziano as he's, as he's pressured back to get the puck. Goes behind the net. Puts the puck up the boards to Shea Donahue. Donahue wide over to Cam Fici. Fici streaking up the side. Shot blocked and kept in front. Belmont continues again. De Fici, oh. quick shot on that. Shea Donahue over the side. Oh, out front. Fici missed. Hit by Bauer. Dangerous hit on the boards over there. Belmont contains the puck. Shea Donahue on the left-hand side. A shot up. Oh, and a oh. mishandled slightly by Hannafin in the goal. <laughs> Belmont finds some great Don't pressure early on. the same goal last week. Nice play by Peter Grace to push the puck out of the zone. Joe Gaziano around the net. Controls. Redding controls the puck. Shoots it back in. Grace controlling. Reaching up the right-hand side over to over the blue line. Peter Grace shot on net. Hannafin with a stop. Belmont Rebounds following up on the rebound. Here. Rebounds got up. the second line for Belmont. Belmont pressuring, keeping the puck in the zone. Nice job right there by Cafe and Sophomore dumps it in deep. Homer on the forecheck. Redding able to dump the puck up the boards, controls it, but intercepted again. Sean Noon from third line, probably pressure on the, the wing. Homer follows up. Cycling over to Noon. 
Back to Palmer. Palmer deep with the puck. Palmer and Noon working tandem. And then Redding is able to get the uh, puck out. Seemed like it hit a banner or one banner, of the uh, think, yeah. rafters. So early on, Stoney, a good, good, energy. good uh, start for Belmont. First two lines keeping that puck in, in the zone there. Flying some good shots, really. Uh, um, Hannafin stumbled a little bit on that first uh, first shot there, but uh, here we go. Redding breaking it the puck out. Shot on Federico, his first shot, and he's able to control it. It's off now. A good start by the Belmont so far. Redding looks like a fast team also. Redding's got two very strong first two lines, uh, similar to Belmont, and I think they've got a very strong third line as well, so very well-balanced team. Always seem to have a, uh, a great teams in the Middlesex League. Belmont Noon breaking up on the side boards, up to Mahoney, shoots it in deep, and Hannafin ties it up. Belmont will go for a change. So third line there, that's... Uh, Great Mike. job getting the puck out of their own zone, getting it down there and forcing our face off down the offensive zone. All three lines thus far have sort of gotten that puck in the offensive zone. It's all you can ask and create opportunities there. So Belmont's first line out, out again. This looks like, I'm not sure if it's the second or third line here for Redding. Good cross ice pass. This looks like actually the first line, sorry. For, yep. Oh. Redding, oh, great shot. Got great opportunity by Fahey on the right-hand side. Redding now applying the pressure here. That's Fahey controlling, controlling, carrying the puck back to the point. And Just out. puck Just out of the squared zone. out of the zone. Belmont escapes one there. Shot by Mike Mealy from Redding. That's squirted by uh, Greg Federico in the Belmont net, but... Uh, puck will be uh, face off in the neutral zone as a result of it uh, going out of bounds. So, Belmont's first line again, marching up with the uh, Redding first line. It's Panucci against Bauer on the face off. Puck goes up the side. Redding controls, pushes it deep. Gaziano chases with Fahey on, on his tail. Over to Theo Martin, pushes it up the board, doesn't get it out. Adam Byra controls it in the neutral zone. Pushes over to Campici, not able to get control of it. Puck is dumped in deep by Redding. Martin controlling again, passes the puck up. Escapes the control of Bauer, and Redding puts it back in the zone. Martin again oh. looking deep. Mishandles the puck, but it looks like a delayed offside as the ref had his hand up for a period of time there. So... Redding getting their legs under them, it, uh, it appears, after that, uh, their first shifts. Belmont will put their second line out. This is Kafein on the faceoff, lining up against, I think that's number 11, Mark Boyle. Puck is dumped in deep, controlled by Redding. Shot up the boards, and then Grace fires it right back in. Belmont on the forecheck. It's uh, Packard in the corner. Redding bunces it up. Melanson holds the line, but not able to get it uh, in the dark it. offsides. Good effort. Good. The puck is controlled by Palmer, and Redding dumps it in deep. Henry Melanson chasing after. Goes back towards the goal. Dumps it in deep. Peter Grace unable to control it. Peter going up the sideboards. Controlled by Redding in deep. Redding circles around. Dumps it in deep. Peter Grace able to well, unable to elude the two Redding offensive players. Redding controls it, cycling. Mishandles the shot, and Belmont just pokes it out of the zone and will be content to uh, change up with the, looks like the Belmont third line coming on. Looks like a rotation of players on the third line for Belmont. Looks like uh, you have uh, the younger Packard, who's uh, number 26 on a four check right here, keeping it deep to Mahoney. Back to Packard. And Redding gains control of it. It looks like an odd potential odd man rush. Dump it in deep. And Gaziano, a great play. Boy, is he good. And a whistle on the play, behind the play. I didn't see it, Stoney. You see what the call there happened? I did not see that. Looks like they have a uh, face-off in the neutral zone. I'm not sure 
saying the helmet came off? Maybe a safety issue there. So Belmont's third line, that's Sean Noon on the left wing. That's Joe Gaziano on the defense, carries it, controls it, dumps it in the zone. Hannafin controls it. Good transition right there. That's on the right and side, yeah. Nice hook. Martin pushes it over. Sean Noon on chase. Nice forward check by Redding. But Noon able to push it, feeds the defensive. Oh, tipped dangerously by Gaziano. Again, Noon fighting for it on the side. Gaziano controls. Gaziano streaking up the right hand side, dumps it in deep. Nice oh, trip. and looks like it's going to be a tripping call on Redding. And it looks like it's a power go play it. opportunity for Belmont. I oh, think that 22. was a dangerous play. Mike Mealy uh, looks like he'll have uh, two minutes on that. It's a dangerous, uh, dangerous play, but uh, thankfully nothing too serious on that. But. So Gaziano. More interference and always tripping. Yeah. You go either way. So let's see. It looks like they've got Johnson on the side for Redding and Panucci. Belmont controls. That's Grace. That's Ooh, a quick nice. shot. Tipped. I don't think and we really saw it that well either. Interference was a call, Stone. You were right. So. <laughs> so again, 9-16 in the first period. Cam Fici with the puck in the point. Fires it in. A lot of uh, action in the front of net. Goes wide. Grace now controls on the side. Grace circles. Looks. Nice tip. Offside by Hannafin. Belmont controlling the puck in the zone. Controlling. Fichi looking, circling. Nice shot over Hannafin, Puck's and the net. the net is dislodged. Yep. Yep. Belmont's power play has uh, very strong. They're able to maintain control. Great <laughs> stick handle and puck handlers, all five of them out there. We've got uh, the four seniors and uh, sophomore. Adam Bauer, Belmont to the point. That's Gaziano over to Fichi on the side. Fichi controls, turns, looks, Fichi looks, fires it. Hannafin with a big stop. Controlled by Donahue on the side. Over to Grace. Grace goes, tries to go to Benito. Belmont able to keep it in. Gaziano, a great play. Fichi trying to feed it in, force that puck in. Grace, nice play, able to keep nice it stop. temporarily, but Redding is able to ice it down and get a uh, much needed change. Belmont regroups behind the net. Gaziano collects the puck up to Grace. Grace carries, collects up the side, gets control, carries, looks, scans, carries behind the net, sees what his options are, feeds the puck back to Fichi. Fichi looks back to Grace. Grace fires it. Rebound! Nice defensive play by Redding. Belmont feeds it over again. Nice job by Grace to keep it in. Controls. And Redding, nice defensive play on their end. And a four-check. That looks good play there by Belmont. Good four-check there by Matt Peshera from Redding. Fichi controlling, moving the puck up the zone, carries it up. Very elusive. Fichi moving up, spinning through two players, and a good hit there by TJ Michelle. Belmont keeps it in, though. He's got three seconds left in the power play. Palmer collects the puck in the, in the neutral zone. Grace now. Belt, both lines are even. No oh, opportunity there, but uh, Grace dumps it in deep. And Belmont's got their second line in. Palmer again in the, in the neutral zone over to Grace. Grace has it. Just attempt to dump it in. Dangerously over the head of Hannafin. Belmont on the forecheck. Got Packard falling in. Trolling, Belmont able to keep it in. Melanson, a nice play. Trying to feed Palmer in the middle again. Melanson, good job keeping the puck in. Packard now controls it. Dumps it in deep. Palmer on the chase. Palmer chase. Not in there. Oh, Packard intercepts again. Keeps it deep. Belmont, nice forechecking pressure right here. Palmer changing on the second line. Mahoney following with the check. Packard stays in deep. And bouncing puck on dangerously net. on net. And Federico pushes to the side. Good opportunity there. Packard controls, collects, dumps it deep, and he's going to go for a change. That's uh, Nolan Kelleher on the, the follow-through. Kelleher on the check. Belmont uh, Mahoney. And oh, it's Pat, Packard with another shot. 
Belmont applying great pressure right now, keeping the puck in the offensive zone. Redding controls, looks to center. Opportunity, good oh, stop save. by wow. Federico. Excellent stop, point blank shot. On, big save. That was Panucci, one of the snipers for Redding on their first line. Great opportunity there. So we've got Leo Packard on the third line for Belmont. I think he's uh, shifting in and out. And then we've got Ben Packard on the second line. So you hear me call Packard a lot in this game. Um, that's those, the two brothers, uh, one a senior and one a uh, freshman. Writing controls in the corner after the faceoff. Have behind the net, controlling. Pass it up front. Oh, big stop by Federico. Belmont big shoots season. the puck out. Bauer on the four check. Back for Kevin Thompson wow. and an icing. Two, two big saves there. Great opportunities there for Redding. I think Belmont's probably controlled the zone times 547 in the first period, but uh, I think there's probably been an equal number of dangerous scoring chances yeah. for two, both teams. Two shots out front. That's one thing the last, last game I think we were talking about earlier uh, against BC High that they were able to keep them kind of outside that area. Redding seems to find a way to get in there already, so something they almost got to clean up. Adam Bauer chasing the puck, able to deflect it off. Uh, uh, looks like he's limping to the side. It's not good for Belmont. Um, 528 left in the period. Homer on the forecheck. Redding controls deep. Homer able to get uh, an opportunity there from Shea Donahue. Cam Fici with the puck in the corner. Fici controlling, check, controlling again. Behind the net. Looking up front, can't feed it, intercepted by Redding. Now back to Fuchi. Oh, Rebound. Oh, great wow. stop by Hannafin. Puck gets poked out on oh, no ice is the call. Belmont applying some great pressure there. Theo Martin behind the net, collecting, looking up, passing over to Gaziano. Gets the puck up to, to Ben Packard, gets it deep. Matthew Palmer and Chase. Oh, sorry, I don't Michael see Palmer how that can be an ice and when they, you know... Definitely had a bad but ready. It looked like there was some contact with it contact before. Contact uh, there for sure. Yeah. Some good opportunities there for Belmont. Um, so we've got the Belmont second line out. Looks like Michael Palmer taking the face off with Ben Packard. And that looks like Ryan Nortz on the right-hand side, number uh, left-hand side, number 13. Palmer's waved out. Packard in on the face off now. Yeah, looks like, oh! Shot is it's a little... Homer content to ice, uh, to, to poke it out of his own. Redding collects, controls, shoots it up. A nice pass there, a good opportunity. Oh, and a shot wide by Matt Walsh. Redding keeps it deep, controls. Walsh behind the net, looking, scanning. Passes out front, dangerous opportunity for Walsh. Melanson now collects it for Belmont. Passes it up the boards, intercepted. Pushes it up again. Maintained well by Redding. Shoots it in deep. Federico with the stop. Belmont struggling right now to keep it out. They get it out of the zone. Palmer on the, uh, the four check. Back to get it is Nate Johnson. Pushes it up the side. Belmont oh. gets an opportunity. Palmer pokes it. Not able to get it. Wow. And Ben Wright able to collect it for Redding. Dump it in deep. Peter Grace puts it up the board. A couple of North funny, funny bounces going on in the glass so far tonight. Michael Mahoney puts a body on... Evan Panucci, Belmont shoots the puck out of the zone, 3.34. That's the third line for Belmont right there, Kelleher, number seven. Belmont shoots it into the neutral zone. Grace looks, scans, passes wide. And Belmont tried it, it looked like noon, tried to get it deep, could not. An opportunity here for, oh, an excellent yes, stop a bit, by... A little bit of the post. Wow. Federico. Incredible opportunity. Redding creating some great chances, some good noise in front of the net, around the zone. And it looks like the net dislodged and the glove fell off Federico. But man, those, uh, I think Redding has had some point blank time opportunities. opportunities out in front. Score remains 0 to 0, 256. It's not broadcasting? It's, 
So 2.56 in the uh, first period. Buck is first line for Belmont. And it looks like first line for, that's Panucci, controls it. Theo Martin on the chase. Granara around him as well, Panucci, Panera. Theo Martin controlling, fighting. Redding comes out with it, gets it deep to the point. Shot on net, tip, and a big stop by Federico. Big period here. For Greg, he's playing really well here. Really, Federico has made three to four really big stops. In addition, I think, on that one, he uh, tied up that rebound. Didn't allow for a second opportunity, but uh, Redding definitely showing why they are... Uh, they are where they are in the rankings. Belmont's first line out. Puck dumped in deep, picked up by Grace in the corner. Grace stops, reverses direction, passes behind the net. Gaziano collects back to Grace behind the net. Looks, passes up to Shea. Donahue unable to get it out. Pete Grace sends it wide to Fichi. Fichi one on one. One man to beat, he goes by, unable to get past the second defender. Nice play by Nate Johnson. Redding shoots the puck up, unable to get it out. Shea Donahue keeps it in. Peachy fighting for it, unable to maintain it. Donahue puts some pressure, but able to get the, the Redding able to get the puck out. So, puck controlled, shot up. Bouncing puck towards the net. Federico controls it and stops it. Dangerous, couple dangerous bounces in like that. As a goaltender, I always hate, the, hate those bouncing pucks. You never know where it might go. 142 left in the first period. 0-0 zero, zero remains the score. I think Belmont probably controlled the shots on net in the first period. Oh, sorry, the first half of the period. I think Redding has sort of turned it up uh, as the, the game has progressed. Ben Packard controls the puck after the faceoff. Streaking up the right-hand side. Dumps it in deep. Michael Palmer on chase. Mike Neely. Controls, able to get the puck up. Redding, a nice transition. Good, strong play up towards the net. And a good play by Gaziano to disrupt the play and Federico pushing it to the side. Just going to hold this stick enough. Jack Donnelly with the rush there. Another good deflection by Federico wide. Ben Packard pinched out. And Peter Grace goes for the puck after being chased on the four check by Ben Wright. Grace controls, moves up. One minute left in the period and loses control of it. Out, oh, out, big out, play out. there by Gaziano to keep it, keep it in. Oh, I'm sorry, that was uh, Kafein. Kafein on the four check. Gaziano shoots it in deep, tipped in. Oh, dangerous play there. Hannafin controls it. The defender gets it. They look to break. Oh. Belmont, Fichi controls, shoots wide. Kafein on chase. Unable to get to the puck. A good opportunity there by Redding, but Peter Grace pitches it out, sends it wide behind the net. And Joe Gaziano controls, looks, sends it up the board, fesses it up the board. Shea Donahue pushes it through, continues to push through the neutral zone. Shea Donahue with a push, fighting for it. 17 seconds left in the period. Bauer controls the puck up at the blue line, shoots it deep and deflected. Redding, 10 seconds left in the period, controls it. Breaks it in. Grace controls up. Disrupted. Fahey controls it up the boards. Gets it deep. And it looks like that's going to be it for the first period. Nice little stop by Federico. So fairly well balanced uh, back and forth between both teams in that first period. Stoney, I think... Uh, Quite a game we got on our hands there. I think it's a good sign of a pretty... Uh, Intense action on both on both sides. I think Belmont, I think, controlled the play early on in the game, and I think uh, Redding found some uh, some offense there, getting the puck out in front. They had four outstanding opportunities, point blank out in front of the net. That Rico. That, that's something. Uh, hopefully, Belmont's going to be able to clean up because I don't know how long he's going to be able to, uh, how many of those he can keep on taking. Yeah, I think similar uh, activity happened in the uh, the Winchester game for Belmont last uh, the last game on Saturday. Uh, and Federico certainly has been uh, excellent uh, the last two games against BC High, against Winchester, and thus far in this first period. So, um, so we go into the break, 0-0 zero, zero the score. Uh, Belmont did have some good uh, pressure in the offensive zone, some very good zone time in the offensive zone. Uh, but I would say uh, Redding... Warren Sterling wasn't the quality chances that Redding had. Redding had better opportunities for sure. I agree with Stoney. 
So uh, while the live stream has uh, was not active, the game is being recorded and uh, will be available at the Belmont Media website for people to watch. Uh, so apologies for the technical difficulties. And I'm going to need you to step to this. So Dave, I, you know, one thing I uh, definitely think the uh, Belmont needs to try to do here is uh, defensively get themselves uh, uh, taking care of the front of their net a little bit. Try to try, try to not put Greg in such a bad situation out front. Yeah, certainly Redding uh, forced some, some very good opportunities in the front of the net. So we're off. Second period started. Uh, Peter Gray dumps it in deep. Campici on the chase. But, uh, Redding puts it out in the neutral zone. Gaziano tries to dump it in. Controlled by Redding. And Redding dumps it in deep in the far corner. Peter Grace collects and controls it. Passes over to Joe Gaziano in the D. Over to Campici. Campici passes it up to Bauer and intercepted by Redding. So back and forth to here we go a little bit in the beginning of the period. Joe Gaziano passes nice tip it. Tip deep by Bauer, Shea, and on the, uh, the four check, Bauer controls, over to Donahue, Donahue controls, spins back, still controls, back, oh, great pass, wow, good opportunity, great. Bauer with a fantastic behind the back pass, over to Fici, Fici, great chance, and stopped by Hannafin, Belmont still has it in the offensive zone, Bauer controls the body, protects, and Redding, Sends it deep, and it looks like it's going to be icing. So, 13.55 well, in the second period. That's a good opportunity right there. Bauer just uh, behind the net. So it looked like he was going to fake to go behind the net and passed it with a backhand pass. The line, does, the line does a great job of uh, cycling the puck and uh, working that puck out front. They get creative. So, second line, Kafeyan, Palmer, and Packard. Uh, defended with uh, Joe Gaziano and Theo Martin. And they wave out to and it looks like Packard will be in. And uh, face off one deep. Kafeyan checking. Homer ties up on the side, gets it in deep. Kafeyan now follows in. Controlled by Nate Johnson. And accepted by Packard. Shot goes wide. Redding keeping the puck deep in the zone. Nate Johnson controlling up the wing. Homer keeps it. And Theo Martin keeps it in and a good shot opportunity, but seen very uh, straightforward by a Hannafin on the goal. So looks like Belmont's going to change, put the first line back out again. And Peter Grace and Henry Melanson, Henry Melanson on the defensive pairing. 13-31 in the second period. Puck is deep, handled by Johnson in the corner. Melanson keeps it in, deflects back, and spreads out to the neutral zone, and Peter Grace pushes it back in. Puck is deep, controlled D to D by Redding, up the boards, and out. Melanson controls it, unable to get it out of zone, and now he does. Fichi through the neutral zone, over oh, to... Oh, great pass. To, oh, shot wide. Belmont controlling it, and Redding able to get the puck out. Grace shoots it up the boards, but not out. Redding passes wide. Excellent opportunity there by Gardena. Redding controlling still. Grace intercepts. Pushing it up the boards. Redding cycling deep. Cycling deep. Fischera with control. Back to the point. And it's missed wide. Shea Donahue on the forecheck. But Redding controls. Collects and keeps it up the board. Redding on a three on three on two opportunity. Gets it deep. And a shot. Oh, fielded well by... Federico Belmont content to shoot it up the boards, but kept in. Fichi with an opportunity now. One on one. Oh, good intercept right there. Fichi controls again, still passes it across. Pass up the boards. Ryan McCurtain controlling through the neutral zone. Shuffles it up and he scores. Wow. Put him in a tough spot down there. Above the pads. Just above the pads. Federico reached over with his glove and just squirted yeah, in on his uh, left hand side. So tough break for Belmont. Good, uh, good uh, scoring opportunity there for Redding. So Redding goes up 1 0. 12 08 in the second period. Belmont second line out. Gaziano throws it. Collected by Theo Martin. Shoots it up the boards. The four check of Redding, keeping it deep. 
Gaziano fires it up the board. Able nope. to get it out of the zone. Belmont four checking. <laughs> Martin shoots it up. Able to be kept in by, oh, and a hand pass. All the way down. Go all the way down. So I don't know if uh, Federico was uh, just in a difficult spot, if he screened it all in that shot, Stoney, but uh, again, I think uh, just unfortunate. It's done so well up to this point. So it's, uh, again, one nothing early. A lot of time left in the game here. Good opportunity for Belmont here with the puck in the offensive zone. Palmer, Redding wins the faceoff. Gets it deep, defense to defense. Oh, goes across. They try to slice it out, and they do. Bounces over Melanson stick, and it looks like it's going to be iced down by Packard. So Belmont uh, will have the puck now in the defensive zone, and it looks like the third line is being shifted. Oh, nope. Sorry. Looks like the first line back out again. So 11.31 in the second period. 1-0. Reading. Looks like the first line, Granera, Panucci, and Fahey for Reading. And the first line for Belmont as well. Reading wins the puck deep. Deflected, controlled by Bauer, shoots it up to Fici. Looks like he's offside. So. Good idea, good attempt. Well defended by Redding. 11.22 now in the second period. Face off in the neutral zone. Adam Bauer against Panucci. Puck one back to Joe Gaziano, controls, circles it. Whoa! Dangerously back to Federico. And Redding still controls it in the offensive zone. Gaziano shoots it behind the net. Martin trickles it up the side. Intercepted. And another good pass up front by Redding. And Belmont now breaks out. Fichi looks like he's one on three here, but uh, and Redding able to disrupt it. Belmont gets it to Martin. He passes it in to nice little pass to Bauer. Bauer controls it. And Redding gets it behind the net and attempted to shoot it through Short the Short glass over there. Inside. Over and out. So the faceoff will be in the offensive zone here. So 10.40 in the second period. Again, one nothing Redding. Looks like the second line for, oh, third line for Belmont. We've got Martin, Leo Packard, and Sean Noon. The puck is, goes into the corner. Oh, and shot a deep Packard on the four check. Followed by Mahoney, Mahoney chasing. Bel uh, big break, two on two for Redding. They circle back, back to the point. Shot tipped, oh! Good opportunity. Tipped out front by Gardena. Shot by the Some point traffic by up front TJ there too. Mitchell. Belmont uh, looks like they've got Grace and Gaziano on the defensive pairing right now at the third line. And I think this is the second line for Redding. Redding is the puck back. Leo Packard on defensive throw. Grace fighting for it in the corner. Maintain control by Redding. They get the puck back to the point. Shot deflected by Mahoney. That's going to hurt. Leo Packard gets it. Shoots it in deep. Controlled by Hannafin, and he's be content to tie it up. 9.56. It looked like a tough shot off uh, Mahoney using his body to shield that puck and defend, uh, deflect it out. I think he'll have a bruise for that one tomorrow. Yeah, he's going to leave a mark. Adam Bauer in the faceoff. Wins it back to Fichi. Shot and a good stop by Hannafin. Looks like he saw it the whole way. Good faceoff one there. Right back to Fichi. Bauer doing a good job there. Buck is tied up. Controlled by Shea Donahue. Pass out front. Deflected back to Donahue. has got it. Tries to go back to the point, and Redding is able to intercept the pass, get it to the neutral zone. Bauer controls it. Nice shielding of the puck. Gets control of it. Good opportunity. Pass out front. Oh, oh well defended by Redding. Good opportunity there for Belmont. 
Puck goes to the neutral zone. Gaziano makes a good play on it. Off. Oh. And an offense, uh, uh, offsides by Redding. So, nice play by Bauer over there to control the puck, try to sort of squirt it into the front of the net. Looks like there was some an opportunity there for a greasy goal, but uh, Redding able to push it aside. 9.25 second period, 1-0 Redding. Puck goes back to Melanson, over to Grace. Grace controls, looks wide. Puck's deflected, three on two for Redding. Look up, and a stop by Federico. Deflects it to the side. Melanson, nice play, controls it in the corner, gets it up the board to Fichi. Fichi pops the puck out. Shea Donahue on the forecheck. Followed up by Bauer. Donahue controls. Tries to push it deep. Redding controls it. Gets it in the neutral zone. Bring it up, take a shot. Deflected wide by Donahue. Nice goes over to Fichi. Two on two for Belmont. Belmont, Fichi. Looking, surveying, controlling. Oh, oh sends it to the middle and controlled effortlessly by Redding. Belmont gets the puck in deep. Hannafin controls it, passes it up the wing. Redding looks his, his long nice. pass. It's no. not a nice thing. Grace now behind the net, gets it up the boards. Fichi punches it up. Homer now on the forecheck. Redding gets control, gets it in deep, controls, look, centered pass, and a nice check there by Nortz. Gets the pass. Two on two, Palmer over to Fichi. Fichi controls, shoots. Whoa, nice stop by Hannafin. Fichi has it still. Behind the net, checked well, defended well by Redding. Nortz, 13 on the four check. Palmer following behind him. Redding able to get the puck out to the neutral zone. Fichi controls it, stick handles, shoots, and it goes harmlessly wide. Redding controls. Rifles up the board, not out. Oh, and now they're able to get it out. Gaziano, a good play on it. Looks like a tough play, and looks like they're going to get a call for a hold for Gaziano. 7.46 in the second period. Redding will be going on a power play. Again, that's probably more interference than I think hold. But either way, same thing. Agreed, yeah. So it looks like they're going to have Martin and Grace on the defense and Adam Bauer and Shea Donahue on uh, the man down for Delmont. Well, this looks like uh, much of the first line here and Delmont able to control and, and shoot it out wide. Guzzi like Guziano is a big part of this uh, penalty kill, you know, so having him in the box is uh, very... Uh, carries up, Gardena, very tough. passes up, puck goes wide, Grace controls it, and it looks in the bench. Like it hit the bench. And a faceoff will be in the Belmont zone. So, looks like we've got Granara and Fahey. And it looks like Gardena on the faceoff. So Panucci not out there. Oh, it looks like he's on the point. So they just got the, the first. Redding controls. Controls it deep. Belmont keeping on the outside. Donahue able to get control of it and send it deep. 7-10 in the second period. 124 left on the period. Again, Redding controls, carries the puck up, intercepted by Fichi. Able to, Redding able to squirt it in, and Belmont able to get it out into the neutral zone. Redding controls now, moving into the neutral zone. Walks in, looks, controls, sends it around the boards in deep. Redding controls on the periphery. Again, controls, looking the outside. Puck is tipped wide, and the puck is shot out into the defensive zone by Peter Grace. And Belmont will have at least an opportunity to get one new fresh set of legs out there on the man down. Redding moving the puck up. Able to get the puck in, and Belmont oh, able to intercept Theo Martin, but not able to get it out. And Fichi now controls in the neutral zone, able to get the puck out. And Panucci. Gets it back now. Uh, Aaron pass, intercepted by Peter Grace, and he's content just to get that puck in deep. Adam Bauer on the chase. Ten seconds left. Kevin Thompson for the defense, controls it. He passes it wide. 
two on two now. Potentially three on two opportunity here. Every man trailing, big opportunity and a shot and stopped and tied up by Federico. Huge stop. Penalty is up, 5.41 in the second period. Another point blank shot. The uh, Redding came in late. forwards carried the defense right towards the net, dropped the pass back to the high guy. And Very really poised, wait, 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 wait. Great play by Redding there. So Gaziano out of the box, Belmont second line out. And somebody looks like the second line for Redding as well. Redding controls behind the net. Circles around, shoots the puck back to the defender, intercepted, blocked by Gaziano. Gaziano pokes it out to the middle, to the neutral zone. And they're it's able off, to get the yeah. puck back in. I, I thought they were off as well. There. Grace controls it in the corner. Oh. Belmont loses control of it in the corner, and now Grace collects behind the net, gets some speed, keep going up. Grace up the wing, big shot on Hannafin. Hannafin controls it. Saw it the whole way. And it looks like there'll be an, an offensive face-off. And Belmont will put their third line out. Looks like uh, Mahoney with Packard and Nolan Kelleher on the left-hand side. Mahoney gets tied up on the face-off. Puck goes deep. Kelleher chases after it. Mahoney now chasing after it. And Packard with a check. And it looks like offside, so 4.55 in the second period. Face off in the neutral zone. They've had some shots on Hannafin, but Belmont, not, not, uh, not, not a lot of dangerous it's, it's, it's shots. It's from that first shift that they had in the second period that they had, uh, they had two really good looks that from that uh, first line. They haven't really had anything, generated anything other than that. So oh, it's, dangerous. Uh, Puck is played deep and they're controlled by Redding. They control and they pass it up front. Intercepted by Martin. Passed up the boards. Intercepted by Redding and they shoot it deep. On chase is Gardena. Back to the other side. Over to Boyle. Boyle back to the point and Federico able to tie it up. Couldn't beat the pucks there. Redding controlling the, the, the play there. Keeping the puck deep. And Belmont will change up with their first line right here. Got Melanson and Grace on the defense. And puck goes back to Peter Grace. Grace circles, controls behind the net, looks, surveys, passes up to Fichi. Fichi collects it, right passes up to Bauer, two on two. Bauer up the wing, looks, passes up in front, and controlled by Hannafin. So let's see what you get on one of face off here. I think Belmont's got to really attack that net a little more, a little, get a little more noise, a little more uh, activity in front of the net. Bauer with face off gets it back to Fichi. Fichi to look, shot on net, rebound. Oh! Hannison able to tie it up. Good little opportunity there for Belmont. Yeah. Bauer's doing a good job winning some face offs. You know, he's winning about the Fichi, he's very creative. Fichi got a, behind a little screen there. He got a shot on net. Hannafin controlled it. Rebound squirted, but he was able to sort of get control of it. Puck shot out of the zone. Melanson now with a big hit, but still controlled by Granera. He's in the corner. Circles back. Looks. Two Belmont defenders on him. He passes it deep to the other side. Grace now collects it. Passes it up to Shea Donahue. And now to Fichi. Two on two. Fichi one looks. Oh, a good shot there by Fichi. 3.39, Hannafin, nice stop. I think all the shots thus far of Stoney have really been in the, uh, the bread basket for, uh, for Hannafin. He hasn't had to, uh, you know. He's had good looks at it on. Yeah. yeah, you're right, you, you know. Belmont keeping their first line out. Bauer on the faceoff. And it's one into the corner. Martin controls it, passes it out front. Belmont maintaining some pressure on it. But Funny bounces off the glass today. Oh! Great shot opportunity by Fahey. Now they continue, Redding continues to control. Redding back to the point, and a nice stop. 
by Federico. Looks like Federico had, had an eyes on it, but almost uh, misplayed that, uh, that initial shot there. So Belmont second line coming on now. 317 left in the period, one to nothing Redding. Mark Boyle on the faceoff Redding, Michael Palmer on the Belmont side. Puck's tied up. Redding gets hold of it. Back at the point. Shot in front of the tip in a couple different directions. Peter Grace controls. Carries. Looks. He's been tracking on the side. Packard racing up the side. Pinched off well, but... Oh, and he pulled himself offside. So, 3-0-3. Neutral zone faceoff here. And it'll be Cafe in for Belmont. Lining up against Boyle for Redding. Puck. Squirts into the zone. Redding controls. Gets it into the zone. And Peter close, Grace Close his hand it. on it. Well, if he closes his hand, is that a penalty, Tony? I'm surprised. Just, yeah, I'm surprised. Just, surprised surprised he didn't, you know. Carry of some sort. Or, I don't know what the, the, the exact call is, but whistle regardless. Yeah, surprised he didn't call a penalty. 258. Winchester wins the face. I'm sorry, uh, Redding wins the face off, gets it in deep. Redding looks, passes across, goes deep. Palmer on the four check. Puck goes deep. Controlled by Redding. They shoot it in. Oh, get a good opportunity. Puck shot right along the ice there. Federico able to control it and tie it up. 242 in the second period. Palmer and Boyle lining up on the face off. Puck is one back, and it's deflected into the neutral zone. Oh, Puck squirts behind the net. Grace controls, looks up, passes it up the boards to Palmer. Here's the forecheck, controlled by Redding. Belmont forechecking, Redding able to control, and oh, how come they don't call that one? But anyway, Redding back to, oh, oh, good opportunity there. Wonderful pass and play. Redding controls, Boyle. Dumps it in deep, cycling right now. Back to the point. Oh, puck goes off the boards and off the ref. Gets, it, gets it. Break out and the puck gets deep, dumped in deep. Grace now collects it behind the net. Looks, stretch pass up oh. to, oh, to Palmer, but he passed it. Just wide in the wrong direction. Belmont gets a change right now. 152 left in the period. Nolan Kelleher on the chase. Mike Mahoney on as well. Oh, no call. Puck goes up the, up the side of Kelleher. He gets it to Noon. Noon dumps it in deep. Belmont on the four check. Collected in deep by Panucci. Kept in by Nolan Kelleher and passed in front and intercepted by Redding. Redding now controls, carries it up the side. Shoot it in deep. Federico controls it to the corner. Redding controls. Out front, pass out front. And broken up by Great Michael job. Mahoney. Great job by Mahoney there. 114 left in the period. Puck goes back, collected by Neal. Looks, passes up. Passes, tips, and it's a nice save. Kind of like seeing what I saw from Mahoney there. It's like playing middle. Uh, knowing that he's got some defense in his background. Coming up the middle there, handled the puck real well. Getting the puck out of the out of the out front. Like seeing him playing the center. Belmont needs a little energy right now. Third line, usually the energy line for Belmont. We've got the first line out right now. One minute, four seconds left in the second period. Again, the score, one nothing, Redding. Puck, Shea Donahue, unable to win the face off. Redding, opportunity. Great. Joe guys on a really Joe. strong Very stick, strong. able to get control of the puck, get it deep. Shea Donahue on the four check. Redding controls, intercepted by Fiji. Gets it in the corner, looks, passes up front. Intercepted again by Redding, and they dump it through. 43 seconds left. Federico controls it for Grace. Grace behind the net. Well, four checked by Granera. Puck goes deep. Out up the boards. Shea Donahue carries. Looks up. Shots. Oh! Big oh, goal by Shea Donahue. Wow. He's had a, he had a great opportunity down here earlier in the game. The same thing. And he had a great goal against BC High in the same 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 shot. And that glove side, I, I, I think it, 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 he hides it well. It comes off really well. That's an awesome goal. Almost looked identical to the BC High goal. Yeah. Right? I mean, it may have Just, been tipped on the, uh, the goal stick there. Huge goal for Belmont. 27 seconds uh, left in the second period. Um, exactly what they did to Brett. Yeah. yeah. Ties the game up one to one. Yeah. 
Looks like they... Puck is one back. Pichi controls it. Knocked down. Redding gets it back. Dangerous pass in the front. Redding controls again. Gets it in deep. 14 seconds left. Controlled by Gaziano. Looks, surveys, gets up the board to Donahue. Donahue content to carry it in deep. Eight seconds left. Oh! Huge opportunity there for Redding. Grace controls it. Three, two, one seconds left. And that will be it for the period. And it looks like they're calling a penalty here at the end of the period. Uh, it looks like Belmont, I uh, think... Yeah, it's on, it's on uh, Redding. So yeah. Belmont will be uh, starting the third period with the main yep. advantage. Uh, I didn't see it, but not number 26. Kind of came in a little high. He's, you know, he's 6'5". So, you know, it's, it's him coming in high. He's going to come in high on most kids, you know. Yeah, Gardena Jr. So I think he just came in a little high on him just because, you know. I'm not sure if it was on Cam, if it was on Peter, but uh, I thought Peter Grace, but... Uh, in any case, not a smart penalty on the Reading side. Belmont, again, will have an opportunity there to really turn the tables here. I don't say I'm a little lackluster performance by Belmont that period. Didn't really create a lot of great scoring chances. I think I uh, have to probably give the advantage to Reading that, oh, that for period. Sure. Uh, and Belmont escapes with that goal um, at the end of the period there, really, to, to turn the tides here in this game. So... Reddy moves the puck awfully well. They awfully do. Awfully well. You know, they're moving yeah. the puck out of their zone. They're Great. making the boys chase. Uh, Bel Belmont's going to do a better job of, uh, tr you know, getting a hold of the puck. And once they have it, I mean, I know they're dumping it, but they got to try to control the puck a little bit. Yeah, not a lot of activity in front of the net. So Redding's done a really good job at sort of keeping Belmont uh, on the outer edge. Really not a lot of traffic, not a lot of rebounds. Um, you know, going to give some... Assistant number 19, Peter Grace. Time of the goal, 14 minutes, 33 seconds. So Donahue from Grace. Donahue from Grace. Uh, on the goal at the end of the period. And then... Uh, penalty, number 26, Les Giardina. Two minutes for high sticking. Yeah, Giardina. Time of the penalty, 15 Junior minutes. forward, 6'5", as Even. Stoney said. Uh, really a tough penalty to take. Um, but again, we look forward to uh, this third period tied one-to-one. -one. We'll uh, take a break as the Zamboni does the ice, and uh, we'll join after the intermission. All right. Welcome back to third period action. Matt, nice to see you again. Yeah. David, thank you for filling in. Thank you. For coming I back appreciate back. it. David did an awesome job while you were gone. I know, I know if you caught all like, the games. Uh... I uh, was in Ireland. I heard, uh, I heard the, watched the whole first game in Ireland. You did a great job while you were out. I was texting Cheryl during the game. Critiquing everything that I said while I was there. There's only a few things you needed to clean up, but you did a nice job today. Well done. Well done. So uh, I, wa I walked in. I don't want to take any credit for this, but they scored the minute I walked in the door. <laughs> and then got a, got a late penalty to end the period. So we're going to third period. John, you got the first goal. Who scored for Redding? That would be... What was it? Mc Ryan McCurt. McCurt, all right. Number 20, all right. McCurt. So, uh, Belmont will open up this period on the power play. No, good. All set, you're right, it is good. All right, Panucci was on the faceoff. Of course, remember Evan Panucci, senior captain. I think he's a senior. You know, he's been around forever. Fuck with you here. Yeah, he's been around forever. Buries that puck down in the corner with Grace is battling down there. A great forecheck by Panucci. Finally, that puck frees out. Panucci's going to bail out wisely. Got him an errant pass off of the goal. Grace kind of recollects, works that puck over, over to Fiji, takes his step. Rips his shot, scores! Wow. Fiji barely got across the blue line and kind of snuck that puck in. Hannafin got a little trapped. He was a little deep on it. And Belmont takes a 2-1 lead with 14-22. Great way to open up the third yeah, period. Get to the top of the circle there. I was able to let it go. We had a clean look at it. Beat him stick side. And let's be honest. The big mistake there is you can't let Fiji take that puck and just walk straight through. you got to body him. you got to roll someone over on him. Bow resets. Because he's able to push that puck down below Hannafin. Donahue's going to give chase. 
Neely's back there. Neely, another captain for Reading. Again, had a couple of great seasons last few years. Called his name a lot. Pachara gets that puck in. Guzziano's able to clean that out. It was a, kind of a big rebound in front. Guzziano gets on his horse. Donahue tries to clear it up. He's not able to clear the blue line and takes a stick speared. in the gut. Oh, he hit Spear. Jardine, they got him right in, the, right in the stomach. So, it was Grace. Was it Bauer, Grace to Fiji? I heard Grace. Puck gets worked in front. Nobody there because the Adams going to go clean that puck out. Finally whips it down. They're going to wave off icing. Could have played it. Yeah, the puck went off a of melee. It's kind of bouncing around. Gives Belmont a chance to get a few new legs out there. Scafane comes out and pressures. The puck works apart where Martin kind of cleans that out. Oof. It's kind of a blind pass back to Gaziano, but again, they give him a lane. Rips it to the far corner where Packard is. Cormac collects that puck, tries to slow it down. Cafane gives chase. Panucci sort of down behind the net. Tries to work that puck around. Ooh. Redding just can't get control of it. It's going to bounce it around off the boards. Finally able to whip that across. Gaziano gave chase. Fahey was on him. Look at deep. And the puck gets whipped back down around where Johnson's going to work his way. Going to back in that puck out. Robbie Granara. First time I've seen him. Again, another, another kid who's had a great couple of years at Reading. This team's got some talent. And, they got, and they're deep. They were here, yeah. They were, they're they, deep. They've they're been deep. here for four years. They're rolling, they're rolling three, four lines here that are they're all look pretty dangerous out here. You know, we've heard, you've heard the name Granara. You've heard the name Panucci. You've heard the name Miele. I hope I got Is it Miele or Miel? I've been saying his name for four years, I think. Melanson looks to bat that puck. Ends up taking a little contact. But Fichi gets a little squirt out. Bauer dumps it. The there might have been a, might have been a good idea just to pop it on a stick and let him run. A little bit of traffic in front of Hannafin. Fiji sort of blind passes that puck to Donahue. The puck gets worked up the wall with Fahey. He tried to bring it through. Fiji picks that puck up. Oh, oh he loses the puck. Yeah, Donahue going down Donahue, the wall. You gotta give it to him right there. Just didn't give it up. He works his way in on Grace. Fiji sort of collects it and dumps it down. That could be icing. Yeah, icing, yeah. Yep. Need another three feet. Ready, kind of caught. Fiji coming across with two guys. Puck works its way down low. Give a chance to see Sean Noon. Mahoney. Mahoney's been doing good on the faceoff here tonight. Who's on the wing, Stoney? I can't see the number. Um, Is that uh, little, little, little Packard? Leo six, Packard? Yeah. It's Leo Packard. Yep. Yeah. All right. Puck gets worked back in. Federico kind of punches that behind him. Halloran kind of popped that through. Oh! Ooh. Nice little play in front. Wow. You know, Packer made a little bit of a mistake there. Instead of just trying to stop the puck, let it bounce off his stick. Federico is in a I good spot. He's going to skate a little bit with it, too. He's, He's got to tip wrong. that in front. Matt Walsh. Good active stick in front. Nice job by Bauer to win that face off. And Gaziano sort of tries to get a step coming out. Throws that puck into a little bit of traffic. Puck gets worked right in Federico's chest. It was Jack Donnelly. Came down. Redding will get an offensive zone face off here. Gets Belmont's first line. So Matt Walsh will take the face off. Jack Donnelly on his one wing. You want to say that's Max Owens? Well, no, that's not Max Owens. Sorry. Giardina. Puck is thrown up over, over Fiji. Nice little touch pass there by Grace. Donnie, he whips that puck in. Buff meal. Grace picks that up. Oh, fires the puck. Got to get rid of that a little faster there. Good stick by Walsh coming up on 
Grace. And you're right, he took a little too much time. Wind that yeah, puck up. Get that off a little quicker. Off, get it on goal. Don't wait for it. To, don't wait for the perfect shot. Just get, get the get thing on net as, as soon as you can, you know? That's yeah, it's gonna close quickly. Mark Boyle in the face off with Donahue. Nice play by Donahue on the body there. And a soft little back out play where Boyle's able to pick that up. Beachy kind of picks his pocket. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, a little body contact. Nothing came, nothing came of that. Redding's able to keep control, work that puck. Oh, puck kind of skitters in front. Good job, Bill. Just kind of punch that puck out of the zone, corner. Right out of the way. Grace can't stand there. He's got to get back and get to the puck. Bauer just kind of flips that puck out. Went off a of Donahue stick and he kind of flips it up trying to hit Beachy on the far side. Puck gets worked back around. Grace will have a little time to play, make a play here. Puck gets wound up. Oh, really smart play. Take that puck off the wall. By TJ Michael, Michelle? Mitchell? No, Mitchell. Here we Bauer. Go. Kind of one hands that puck, gets it below Hannafin. Michelle's in front. Peachy kind of turns. Puck Ooh. works in. Nice quick shot with Joey Gaziano. Hannafin's able to handle that, fire it off into the corner. Peachy takes it, tries oh. to go high side. <laughs> Goes up over Hannah's over shoulder. That. Gaziano picks that puck, works it back through. Defay was working quick, trying to get that puck off. Grace kind of settles it down. Let's Gaziano kind of turn that puck right over. Oh. Oh, what the hell that? Come on! There's going to be a penalty down front. You're not going to call that. You're not going to call anything. It's an elbow to the head. Come on! You weren't even gonna call that. Former's gonna terrible. have it. At least two minutes. You might be looking at a five-minute major. With 8:56 left in the third, two-one game. Pomer takes an unnecessary penalty. We've kind of come in flat on that. I get the idea. You want to make a big hit and make a statement, but you got to be careful, Stoney. Yeah. I I get to be honest. I didn't see it, so. Yeah, it was right down in front of it. And you know what, honestly? It could have been a charging. There could have been about three calls on that. So again, we'll get this, we'll get this sorted out, but I have a feeling he's gonna see more than two minutes. So Belmont's gonna have quite a bit of time to kill off a penalty. Up 2-1 with 8.56 left. We're gonna be working. I know the four guys we're gonna see here for a little bit. I know the two defensemen we're gonna see a lot of. Is that what he's calling, five minutes? He'll be lucky if he gets out with only five. We haven't posted anything yet. And if it is five, I wouldn't be surprised it's halfway through that penalty that he uses a, a timeout during that penalty. Yeah, well. Try to wiggle it, try to find a way out of it. Belmont's gonna have their work cut out for them now. Right now it's two. Two minutes, huh? So you'll see Granara, Panucci. He'll be on the ice here. Does he see Panucci come out? Yeah, he's up on the he's up on the top. So this there's a lot of firepower on this Reading team. Yeah, they, they, right now they're, they're 26. He's a big boy. Uh, he's he's listed at six five. Oh, I'm giving him two. This Liz guy, uh, Lasgard uh, Gardino, he's a big, big kid, 6'5". I'm sure they're going to try to put him out in front of the net. Giardina, yeah. Yeah, I think they're going to try to put him out in front of the net. 6'5", 195? You know. What's, still trying to figure out what they're going to put on the Peter board Grace? here for these guys. What's Peter Grace? 6'4"? Yeah, they're giving, a, they're giving a double minor, so... Right. So, double minor, Four so. minutes. Like I said, I'm not going to be surprised that halfway through sense. this penalty that he uh, calls a timeout. Now, that Belmont calls a timeout. Now, in the last two years, and we say this all the time, Belmont has scored more short-handed goals than any team in the state. It's incredible. So, while Redding has a ton of firepower, 
They need to be careful with the puck. They can't, you know, they're going to have a lot of opportunities to get some activity here, but they also don't want to just throw pucks around and let that happen where Fiji's able to skate through the neutral zone, pick up pucks and rifle shots. He's already beat Hannafin. So you see that size. You've got speed, a little bit so. better puck protection, but they're able to control it. I like having Panucci up top. I wouldn't mind seeing him use work down the wing a little bit more. And Panucci lost that puck and it came out. 325 left. We've seen Panucci snap off a couple of shots over the last few years. So Donahue takes that face off. It works back where Panucci's able to take it. Puck kind of gets lost, and Grace kind of gets it off the gets it off the door. But he I think he got to hold the ref a little bit too. And I don't know why Reddick's looking to dump pucks in when they're when they got a 309 in a power play. But this is what happens. Now Fiji's going to come flying through. And Donahue's going to take his chance right here. Oh, wow. rips it through. But Sony, that's what I'm talking about. Watch the amount of offensive opportunities Belmont's going to get here, and that's because you went and dumped the puck in when you were up a guy. Oh, now Grace is going to look to fire that puck over. But Thompson's going to look to reset that puck, get it into some of the skilled players' hands. Oh, great play. Great play. Donahue really came up. Redding really needs to kind of control this puck. They're they just go. not being smart with it. And now Gaziano's going to take, take the puck down the other end. Hannafin takes that puck in the chest. But now Belmont's going to have an offensive zone face-off with 2.21 left in the penalty kill. And I think we've got three shots on that, or two, at least two. And I don't know that Redding has one. Right. Oh, Redding, let's control the puck. So Bauer will step in. He'll pack it on his right. And again, Grace and Gaziano are going to log a lot of time here. Gaziano looks to just whip that puck out, but Bauer takes control of it on the wall. Finally, Redding's able to pick that up. Boyle kind of skates through, starts to get ahead of speed. Oh, what's going on back? Ahead of steam. Fichera dumps that in. Grace looks to control that puck, get it off the nice wall, and again, he's able Bauer. to whip that puck down. So the first part is, first two minutes is over. It's 156 left. The double minor to Palmer. Then the puck kind of works through. Grace fires that puck down. And Hannafin's able to stop and control it. Meal kind of takes that puck. Works it across to Pachera. Again, Redding just gets a little oh, careless yeah. with the puck. And then Gaziano just fires it in the back of the stands. With 126 left in the power play. 622 left in the third. Belmont up 2-1. Time, let's go. Yeah, running just not uh, control the puck. But they'll reset. They'll bring their first line plays back out. So, who Belmont take that time out, like you said? 126 left. Makes so, sense. So Redding, Redding's got a, 126 left, 622 left in the period. They need to win this yep. face off. Control this puck. Work a few in. Get your big boy in front. Get yeah, I mean, I, I'm, 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 I'm surprised that they, they're not doing that. I mean, I, you, you, get, you know, like you said, the uh, number nine there. Uh, yeah, Panucci. Panucci. Yeah. He's, Panucci and he's, Granara. He's, let, let, him up, for let, years. let him run it up top and, and, and get, and, and get, get uh, Laz out in front of the net. Yeah, that's something they should be doing. Yeah. I, I mean, it, um, makes sense to me. I mean, he gets uh, some six, six foot five kid who's got some good hands on him with a couple with a couple of snipers yeah. outside. I mean, Panucci can beat any goalie in the state. Granara as well. Oh. Meal's got a big thing think here. Belmont's trying to take, get a you know get get a breath, so see if they can somehow kill this off. Well, that's the plan, right? Try to get, hit try to hit the reset button and, and, and try to hold on to the last. Let's get Donahue and get Donahue and uh, Cam. I don't know. Cam never seems like he needs anything. Any, any time off. <laughs> no, he's, he just, right? he's like the Energizer Bunny. Oh my goodness! Right. But coming right over the wall, you got Bauer coming right over the wall if, if he needs a, if he needs a breath. 
Well, big thing too is getting getting uh, Gaziano and Grace a little breather there. Too. And that's, that's really that's, what this was for. That's probably more than anything. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. So winning the faceoff here is key. Belmont wins that faceoff, kind of rattles it around. Panucci does a nice job of chasing it down. Just wasn't enough on it to get it through. Puck gets worked back up to Panucci. Giordano might want to work that puck back through. Puck gets kicked. Fiji wisely yeah, just turns and it. rips it. Make yeah. Hannafin make, well not make Hannafin. The puck rolled squirted to him and he's going to have to make a play. We get a lot of speed coming up. See, this is what they want to do. Get through the neutral zone with speed. Thompson sort of works like that puck around. Up and I don't but like it for them. No, yeah. I like it yeah. for Belmont, but I don't like it for them. Again, try to work that puck to Panucci. Oh, nice tip Nice there. tip in front. Donahue collects that puck with 30 seconds, 36 seconds left and rifles it in on Hannafin. And this will be... Potentially the last rush for Redding. Gonna work that puck up to Panucci. Don, he's gotta be careful. He doesn't want to take yeah, a tripping ball there. Yeah. So again, Panucci works it in front. Off. Tries to backhand that puck into the middle. Grace puts it off the screen with 10, 9. Hometown clock keeps ticking. Probably could have had that down to four if they'd taken enough time on it. Yeah. So you get, uh... Well, Bauer, yeah, Bauer, Bauer back out yeah, there. come in. Fiji will stay. And we already know who's out there for Dick. Well, <laughs> they, they, it's, the same, it's the same guys that have been out there for three years. I don't think they've right. had more than four minutes off the ice a game. Oh, nice win in wow. front by Redding. The Dean, I think, had that, sh had that shot. With a lot of traffic in front of Federico. Right, penalty's over. Palmer comes right back out. Gets himself right back into the fray. Oh! Bauer was able to keep control of that puck. Again, Fiji's still, still on the ice with Gaziano and Grace. I don't know which one of those two is coming off, but 4.33 left. Now Redding tries to work that puck around. Wow. Federico's able to see it. He's on his post. Redding will get it off as his own face off, 426 left, but a nice yeah, they double minor kill by yeah, Belmont. They, yeah, they get a lot it. of opportunities. Great job getting through it, though. They actually had more Peter Grace shooting will get opportunities. A, in Peter Grace will get a well-deserved well break after about five minutes of ice time. Puck again works in a Federico. Kind of keep that pad out. Okay. Well, it's going to really make sure they work on uh, the face-off here. As far as uh, so, Grace had all of about six seconds. Trying to limit their opportunities. Rest. There. Now Gaziano will get his six seconds, and then we'll, uh, we'll reset the defensive. Yeah, Puckets work in through, and again, Grace is right there to clean it up. You know, I'm going to tell you right now, we got to name these nets the Grace Nets. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have to talk to Jeff about a donation yeah. to get the Grace family name on these nets. I've never seen anything like it. But it does, it does, you know, it's 4.15 left. It gives a little time to, because it looks like Gaziano came back out. Oh, no, it's Cafe. I'm sorry. It was two, not three. All right. Grace sort of circles back in front. Oh, boy. Puck doesn't clean out. Federico's able to take it off the chest. Boy. Not a great turnover, and Belmont's sure. first line will come back out. Got it. Peter's played, Peter's played about eight minutes of hockey. And about 8.45 came off the clock, so he's played about eight minutes straight. Nice job by Joey, kind of punch that puck up. Neil kind of fires it through. Oh, uh, you know, you know, you know when Don, he wanted to go with that. He saw Fiji kind of flashing. Yeah. It sounded like going off a leg, but Belmont's going to take a, an icing call. We'll work that puck down. So 340 left. 2-1 game. 
Panucci's not gonna take the face off. He's gonna have Granara down below me. It looks like Fahey up in the slot. Nice, great, great win. Oh, nice great win. Panucci had a great win and then Granada was able to step through and get that shot off. And again, nice job. What Donahue did there was he didn't just try to work the puck out, he stopped it first. And then Mealy's able to work that puck up to Teixeira. Oh, great play. Worked at a puck to Granada, but he's not able to get much on it. And then Gaziano's able to get a step. John, he finally sees it. Tries uh, to work across the feet. He's just too much on it up in the yeah, air. Yeah. The 304 left. I almost like a little soft, soft touch into the zone here. Let him, you know, feed it way ahead of him. Let him roll run for it. Instead of that hard pass. Just leaving a lot of opportunity for Redding. Yeah. Three, four, can't be five face-offs in a row. Make in the him, offensive zone. Make him work to 200 feet if you can. Boyle comes in on the dot. Big Jardina in the slot right behind him. He's not able to win the face-off. Belmont's able to sauce that puck out to Fichi. Fichi works himself through. Shoots him oh, in it. My goodness. I think he got a pad on it. Grace is able to fire one in. Puck gets worked up to Martin. Kind of, oh, pops it through. Fichi's not able to, well, he finally collects it, but it was down in front. He just rips a puck blindly in front. Donahue was too deep. Come on, Mark. Come on, Mark. Nice job coming inside. Boyle's able to get a shot off. Federico stayed on his post. You gotta get it out. Oh, boy. Who makes that play? Fichi kind of slides down. His back. I thought he got hooked there, but obviously the referees didn't think so. The puck's going right at the blue line now. Redding works their way through, tried to dangle. Fisher's trying to dangle through on Grace. Finally comes up with it. He's able to get oh the puck out in the boy. middle, but great stick by Fiji yeah. with two minutes left. And he's going to get off to get a little bit of a breather he's right going to finish his game. He'll be back out shortly. Did he keep on trying to get the puck deep? Let him work the 200. Grace kind of playing games at the blue line. A little dangerous there. But he does, he's able to work Just the puck and finally gets down low. Again, Caffeine comes in, rips the puck out. Gaziano just takes his time. Come on, Henry. Puck stays bouncing around in front. Packard kind of went spinning. Works its way back to Packard. Takes a huge hit down low. Great job by Redding battling for the puck. Goalie still in the net. And Federico's able to cover that puck up with 112 left. Wow. Joe Stone, I would like to have seen them pull the goalie a little earlier there. 112. Yeah, they've had the opportunity to get a lot of face-offs down low. The extra man would definitely be helpful. I was going to say, they have the extra man out there now, but the goalie's still on the ice. Well, I think they're going to talk about it. Well, 112 left. The away game. Big, down big, on goal. Big, big face off for Belmont. You know, for both. You know, obviously for both teams. But a, you know, big, big face off for them as far as this. If uh, I, I get a feeling they're going to pull the goalie. Yeah, I pull you know, the goalie. I pull the goalie Panucci now. on the dot. Get I, Granara coming no. behind. Are you allowed to ice they pull? No. No. You can't ice it. But, you know, I, I, but for Belmont, if you can, you know, get get a hold of it, chip it out. Cut some time off the board. You get a minute 12 left in the game. Yeah, minute 12 The thing left. you're trying to do is just get the puck down there, make them work to 200 feet. You know, right now they're in your zone. How do you get it out? Make them work the whole ice. The Belmont girls hockey team walking in. They'll be playing right after this game. Hello, Lily Duffy. For the girls? Yeah. Cool. You guys hang right here. a long time out. What are they? It's like a TV timeout? I don't know. So again, here in the third. Belmont up 2-1. 112 left in the third period. <laughs> Redding's gonna have an offensive zone face-off. So you know you're gonna see Pernucci, you know you're gonna see Granara. Jardina. 
the, the Panucci up top. Puck kind of gets popped through. Oh, oh puck worked broke. down to Federico. Donahue tries to snap that puck out. It ends up getting its way to Panucci. And good Fini job. Fiji good job. Good that job. Puck out. They're going to take an icing. No, no, no. they wave off nice, the icing. Nice, nice chip Get down just there. Just enough on it. So they would like to see Panucci take that face off. He's done well when he's in on the draw. You know, you, if you don't get the puck back to him, he's, all that skill and his huge shot's not going to help you. Well, you got to put your best face off guy on the ice, right? You know, I mean, that's again, what you're doing. Got, you you got to put the best guy uh, that takes the dot on the ice. Yeah. Kind of a costly mistake by Redding. They're going to have to bring the goalie back out with 43.9 seconds left. Taking an icing call. And now they're in a situation where, you know, Bauer wins this face off and works the puck back. Just eating up zone time. Smart play. Belmont doesn't want to do anything stupid. I know Giordano kind of came in slid sideways. Don't take a dumb penalty because you're trying to prove how tough you are. Win the face off. <laughs> so again, Boyle will come into the dot. Redding again as the goalie pulled with 32.5 seconds left. Down 2 1. That time they win the. Oh, Bell. Oh, oh off the post. side of the net. Donahue. It's ice, the post. Ice, it's an icing call. Oh. That's as close as you're going to get. I let that get down about 19 seconds if I were the. <laughs> we made a big mistake there. It is icing. It hit the post. No, it's not icing. It's icing. Yes. But it's a post, it's icing. Yeah. So I don't know why they're saying it. No, no, no. Well, the clock is the clock. The clock the clock. <laughs> I didn't see where the clock was, but you tell them to reset it, put a couple seconds back on. Add on a minute. No, we're sticking at 23.8. So, letting. Hold on, it looks like they're trying to get a little more time on the clock. All right, solid second and a half. I guess they split the difference. Redding's screaming for it to be 27. The Mulvies and Redding are thrilled. They got an extra second on the clock. Here we go. Boy, that puck kind of pops up, but at least they're able to control it. Panucci tried to work it in front. Now you got Fichi taking it to the neutral zone. Great job. And he scores. Great job. Great job. Panucci did a nice job on him, but, yeah. you know, you got to control that puck coming out. I, 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 what, 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 what I like what Cam was doing there, he was trying to gain the red line before he took the shot, you know? So I think he was just trying to get there, make sure he, he, he got the red line before he dumped it in. So 13 seconds left. Belmont's going to come out of this. With a victory, we'll see if it holds a 3-1. Belmont keep their first line. The alphabet line's out. Just put a B on Bauer's shirt, just so everyone's got a letter out there. A second B. Oh, that's too funny. You know, we are in Belmont. The kids probably feels lonely. Not having a letter on it. Wow. Shirt. Well, a nice victory by Belmont. You know, down side of the game, down 1 0. Boy, this uh, Reading team's awfully good, too. I got to tell you, this all, I mean, what a big W for, for Belmont to come in here and beat this team. Yeah. Uh, the Reading's awfully, awfully good. They, they you, Belmont David. seems to like to play in the number two seed, you know. Wow. I mean, listen, they, they two, love middle sex league, you know? two tough Middlesex League teams. This team's loaded. You just have to look down the roster. Anyone who's been paying attention to high school hockey in the last couple of years, well, this team's loaded, you know, and there's new players coming up all the time. Well, you know, you, you, you're at home ice, and then having, having the, the last change is, is big, you know, so I think that would actually help them out a little bit too, you know, and, you know, this is a smaller rink, I, I think. You know, it's, it's a little smaller, so I think it, it helps Belmont a, a little bit in, in their game um, of forechecking, but uh, for sure, big W. Uh, for them tonight. No, it's a good, it's a, big, it's a big, great big victory against a good team. And again, any victory in the Middlesex League, in my mind, <laughs> it's great is, a, is, a, is a good victory. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, goal. Stay put for the girls' game. That's right. The girls are coming on, so you don't want to leave. You don't want to miss that. 
supposed to start around seven. Around seven. What time? It'll be a little bit, yeah, a little, a little bit later. Stay on, yeah. stay right here on YouTube. Stay on Info TV. If you're on Belmont Media, uh, the girls game will follow just behind this. So, uh, great, great victory tonight, three-one for Belmont. Uh, great to see you back, Matt. Thank you. Uh, nice to be back.